More children are going hungry due to the coronavirus pandemic, and now thousands of our kids who rely on meal plans may not be able to get that this summer. And some of them actually could go hungry. News H Chris Grode live from the Schools Out, Hunger's Not COVID-19 Summer Food Drive with more on how you can help. Hi, Chris. <laughs> We have been talking about, obviously, the need and how things are changing. The need is the same, but the method and how we're collecting these items is going to be different. So Jim Floros joining us here with the San Diego Food Bank. And Jim, one of the things that hasn't changed, though, is the fact that items like uh, peanut butter, uh, canned protein, those are very efficient items for families. Why is that the case, that those are needed? So well, you know, shelf-stable is, is key because you want to give people enough food to get them through a few days where not just food that maybe only lasts a couple days. Days. Uh, peanut butter is great because it's high in protein. Uh, kids love it, and it's too expensive for us to buy. So you know, people make fun of me. You know, when we when people are putting food in one of these barrels, hey, bring us some peanut butter. And and then obviously, look, things are changing in how we're collecting the food. We're no longer doing those prepaid bags. How is it that people can help out at their local Vons or Albertsons? A couple different ways. So when you're at a Vons or Albertsons, you know, buy a couple extra items. You'll see those barrels. Throw them in there. You can actually go online, San Diego Food Bank, uh, uh, San Diego Food Bank .org backslash summer and they can make a financial gift and then basically they're helping us uh, purchase food. And then obviously we're, we're talking about the kids here and joining us from the San Diego Unified School District is Gary Patel and Gary you you are obviously in charge of the summer program that is going to be going on but then also uh, the school lunch program that, that was going out to kids who usually get their breakfast and lunch from school. Right. What's been the change now that we've had kids obviously staying home due to COVID-19? Well, well Food Bank has supported us since March 16th. Normally we work together during the summer, but this pandemic has, has really uh, made us all come together uh, on March 16th because kids and families need food. We know we have over 30 percent uh, unemployment. Uh, families are struggling. Uh, when Food Bank delivers to us, our meals that we are serving, breakfast and lunch, increase double. Uh, families line up an hour before we're, we're ready to serve, and, and I, I don't see this not, not stopping at all. In fact, we're going to continue this, we hope, in the food bank. I know the support us as well, as, long as, as well as Albertsons and, and, and getting food to families that they need, because this is a very expensive, very, very expensive um, uh, way to do things, because it costs a lot of money for food. Drivers have to deliver the food to the locations, and we see this happening all throughout the next school year as well. The families are going to need, especially distant learners that want to come and pick up food in the afternoons. We want to continue this program because families are really struggling right now. And, and, and Gary, what have been some of the hardships that we have heard from families on the ground at some of these locations? I mean, what are what are some of the, obviously, the, the, the logistical, but then also financial hardships that they're going through? Well, you know, with unemployment and, and you know, there's the EBT uh, pandemic card, but it's $360 a child, but that runs out really quick. Uh, you know, they're struggling to pay rent. They're struggling to put clothes on their on their kids, uh, you know, and food, you know, that's the last thing they want to buy. And if they can get it uh, at no cost, it, it really, really is helping these families just to survive throughout this pandemic. Okay. Well, Gary, thank you guys so much for joining us here today at the San Diego Food Bank for School sure. Now. Hunger is not. Obviously, this is a great cause, and we hope that obviously we can help out a lot of people, get them to donate here at their local bonds in Albertson. Yeah, definitely right. essential to make that happen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Jim. Guys, back to you.